welcome back guys welcome back to my channel today in this uh, short tutorial i will show you guys how to create this cool 3d text effect in adobe illustrator this look pretty difficult to create but this is very easy to create so let's get started okay guys first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw the spare shape for that i'm going to use the ellipse in here we hold the shift key and draw a circle like this okay all right so we can place it in here for now so what i want to do now is i want to place the text in three different angles so i'm going to use my youtube channel for this example so i'm going to place a digital in here art in here and creation in here like this okay so first i need to divide this circle into the final shapes we wanted all right so for that i'm going to use the pen tool so let's go into the pen tool and I'm going to draw a shape like this all right this look fine and in here we are going to write the digital and i will draw another shape from here to here and this part we are going to write the art and in here we will place the creation so maybe for the art, because there's only three letters, I will make it a little bit more smaller, like this. All right, so for these two, we don't need any fill color. So I will select the fill color and select none. All right, now select all of them and go to Pathfinder and divide them into pieces. Now we can ungroup this and now we have four shapes in here. So as I said, we only need three shapes. So we need this, this, and this. So these two, I'm going to combine them together. So select both of them and go to the Pathfinder again and make Unite. Okay, so now we have one, two, three. All right, okay, go back. Now I will go in here to the text. I'm going to type the first word, which is digital, All right? And let's make it big. And I'm going to stick to this heavy weight text. Bolder text, it will look nicer in the final artwork. All right. And I'm going to copy one more. And this one is going to be art. And one more in here. This one will be creation. All right. So let's start with the digital. I'm going to place it in here. And let's make it a little bit more bigger. Okay. Like this and now before we do anything we need to bring this uh, shape to the front because what, are, what we are going to do is we are going to wrap this text in this shape so in order to do that we need to go to objects in here go to the envelope distort in here we are going to use this make distort with the top object so this is the only option available so we have to bring this one to the top and wrap the text in the shape of this shape all right, so let's go arrange and bring it to front. And now we can select both of these. Go again in here, go to envelope distort, make distort with the top object. So once you convert, you guys can see our text has been converted to that shape in here. You guys can double click and change the angle of the text like this if you want. So I will stick to something along this line. All right, as long as you can read, it's fine. Okay, so we are going to repeat the same for other two texts as well. So I will bring in the art in here, make it bigger. And again, you guys can lock this if it's affecting. So control two and let's bring this shape to the behind. All right. And now you can select both of them and go to object and build up this draw and make with the object. All right. Again, I'm going to arrange the shape to something like this. All right. And finally, we are going to use this in here. Creation, we can make it bigger. Arrange, send to the front. And again, we do the same step. All right, you guys can adjust this. I want something along this line. Okay, I think this looks fine. Maybe a little bit more bigger. And let's rotate a bit. All right, this look fine. 
All right, guys. So once you have satisfied, make sure to unlock all of your shapes. Select everything and go to object and expand. You have to expand the object, which is the effect you placed on and the fill. All right. Select OK. Now we have this as an outline. OK. Now select everything and control G. It will make this one as a group. And now I'm going to make a copy, Alt and drag and place it in here. And for this, I'm going to make another copy, Alt and drag. And this one, I will make it small and place it in here. We can make it small like this. All right. And make sure to bring this to the front. Right click, arrange, bring to the front. And before we do anything, let's change these colors. And for this, I'm going to go into my libraries and apply this color. Okay. And this, maybe let's apply this color. We can always change the color, guys. Don't worry about it. Now, select both of them and go to blend and blend them together. It has blend perfectly and placed a new set in between. We need to increase the number of copies. So double click in here to open the blending options. And in here, instead of smooth color, select specific steps. And in here, let's say I want like 50 and preview. And we are getting this shape. Okay. Maybe let's make it like 150 and select OK. So now we don't have any gaps in here. You guys can see our colors is smoothly blending like a 3D object. All right. And now I can draw a circle in here. And maybe let's place it in here like this. And for this, I'm going to apply this color. Right click, arrange, and to backwards. All right. Now you guys can change colors and make this one cooler. For these in here, I'm going to apply these darker tones. And for this, for this, I'm going to select this green color. And for the creation, I'm going to select this yellow color. All right. Perfect. And for this, I will select a darker tone in here so we can clearly see these letters. So you guys can play around with these colors, guys. So I'm not going to show you guys how to change the colors. You guys already know. So let's select this one in here. And I'm just going to place it on top. Right click, arrange, bring to the front. And in here, I'll just place them in here like this. So place it in the correct place. You can zoom in and place them correctly. And for these, I'm going to apply a stroke white color stroke and this stroke i will make this one as overlay and for the stroke select the stroke from here and apply a profile like this so now we have some nice variations in here and for the colors guys you can just select these individually make sure you are selecting the fill color and you can play with different colors in here okay and you can see when I apply different colors, it's becoming nicer. Okay. For this again, make sure you have selected the fill color and apply different tones of color. You guys can play around with the colors to get uh, different results. Uh, you can also apply a uh, gradient if you want to. And I think for this example, this is good enough. And hopefully you guys understood the method. Once you understood the method, you guys can create anything you want. So for this tutorial, I'm going to leave it like this. You guys can play around with the colors and make different shapes. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial.